Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to look at the lights in Blender. And so I've created a simple, very simple 3D scene. It's just a box, a very, very thin box and um, four spheres so that we can see uh, the effects of the light uh, casting down and of course the box so that it can catch the shadows uh, from these spheres. Okay, um, one thing I need to explain guys is how you look at this stuff. Um, right now, I am looking at my 3D view in sh uh, solid shaded mode, solid mode. Not a big deal, I can see everything. Um, but when I go to this one, this is the material preview, I will see the materials. But what I want to work in is the render preview. This is the render preview. And right now I don't have any lights in the scene. And you might be uh, wondering why am I still seeing the uh, the spheres and the floor when there's no lights in the scene. If you click on this little shading drop down uh, to get the shading, uh, the viewport shading options, uh, you can see I have no lights in the scene. I just turned them off and I have no scene world lights. Let me turn that off. Uh, but I do have an HDR image lighting the scene. Uh, and that's with this. And so what I'm going to do, if and, and you can change this. If you click this, you can change what image you use. Uh, and it'll change the, the way the scene is being lit. So that's one of the, one of the things cool, that's cool about Blender is that you can choose an image and have that image light your scene. But we're going to take this off completely. Um, I'm gonna put it at strength of zero, so it has no effect. Uh, in fact, this is how you should start your scenes, uh, your 3D scenes with zero lighting. That way you can control the lighting. Let's add a light. I'm, gonna, I'm in object mode. I'm gonna go to the add menu. I'm gonna add a, a light, but I want you to see the four different types of lights that uh, Blender offers. We've got a point light, a sun light, a spotlight, and an area light. All these four types of lights are offered here in the um, light menu. All right, so let's go ahead and add a point light. Just move it up. Uh, and let's go ahead and turn on the scene light here. Uh, and of course you're not seeing anything because it's way, way, way too weak. So I'm gonna start cranking it up and you can start to see the effects of this light here as we crank up the intensity or the power, the strength of this light. And you can see what this light is doing. We'll go to 1,000. Boom, there it is. And now you can see the effect of a light. Imagine a single light bulb. In fact, uh, here it is. A point light acts like a light bulb or a candle or a fire where it emits light 360 degrees all the way around it. It's emitting from a single point all the way 360 degrees around. So in this in this light, um, I can see that it, it is emitting down and 360 degrees uh, around this light, okay? So one thing to know is that I can rotate this light, I can rotate it, and it, there is no effect. The rotation has no effect on this light. Why? Because it's emitting 
360 degrees all the way around. Uh, the only thing that is affected is the position or the location. That does affect the lighting. Imagine for a minute maybe a um, firefly um, flying around the scene. Okay, so that's a spotlight. I mean, I'm sorry, that is the point light. Uh, the next light that I'd like to show you guys, and, and we don't have to add a different light. Here in the, in the light properties, we can change it here. We can change it, not a big deal. The next one is the sunlight. And so the sunlight is um, weird in a way that <clears throat> let me take off some intensity. Let me push it to 100. Even less than that, 50. Five, one, <clears throat> maybe one. And so, um, this is the opposite of the point light. The sunlight emits light only in one direction. Imagine like the sun. The sun <clears throat> emits, it's so far away from the earth that it emits light in one direction. And so you might be confused can, and you say, well, you know, it, it looks like it's emitting all the way around. Yes, that's what it, that's exactly what it is, but it's so far away from the earth that you're only seeing the effects of one directional light. Okay, so that's exactly how it works. Exactly like this. Just one direction. And the and this and let's say that the light is here. Uh, it doesn't matter where you move it. It's still one direction. And so going back to Blender, uh, I can move this light. I can move this light anywhere, see? Anywhere. And it's not affected. The light does not get affected. The only, it's the opposite of the point light. The only way you're going to affect it is if you rotate it. If you rotate it. Um, so this is the sun. This is uh, night. And then sunrise, midday, sunset, and then night again. And so it doesn't really matter. And look, check this out. Again, when I say it, uh, the position or the location of this light doesn't really matter. Even if I bring it below the ground, it's still shining on top of the ground. So the position really, the location really does not matter, only the rotation. And it's cool that it's got this little handle here that you can rotate it and point it um, wherever you want. But you can see how it is completely the opposite of the point light, where this one, if I rotated it, no effect, but if I moved it, you can see the effect. In fact, you can barely see it because I have it at one. All right, so the next one is the spotlight. The spotlight is affected by both the position and the rotation. And I'm gonna crank this up. Let's see what's a good number, maybe 500. I'm gonna move it up and you can see the cone of the spotlight. So the spotlight is affected by the location. You can see the light. And it is also affected by the rotation. And you can see how I'm rotating the light. Uh, let me push it up. There we go. And so you can rotate, you can rotate also here. And you can rotate uh, in any in any direction. 
and and again just like the sunlight it's got this little handle that you can rotate just grab it and point it to wherever you want and so the spotlight is cool it's got a cone shape um, and it works exactly like a spotlight and this is good for uh, this is good for obviously spotlights, um, but it's also good for flashlights, car headlights, anything that shoots a light in a direction, uh, in a cone. So it starts from here, from the actual light, and it goes out in front and shoots it low. So if you're building a house and you've got some spotlights, um, you can use spotlights or, or a, um, a stage or a flashlight or the headlights on a car. The spotlight is exactly what it says. It's just a spotlight. Um, so imagine um, your character is walking and he has a light in his hand like a flashlight. And he's walking through the scene and you can see the effects of the spotlight and so guys the last one i'm going to uh, go over is the area light here is the area light the area light is like a big soft box and a soft box is like a photographer's soft box they use this box to diffuse the light and and why do you want to diffuse the light uh, when you're taking portraits and uh, product photography uh, you want to diffuse the lights so you can get soft shadows uh, you don't want any hard shadows when you have soft shadows everything looks a little better and so it's very very common in using photography even with product shots um, portrait shots uh, and um, Let's go back to blender and this is why this is one of my favorite types of lights um, we've got a, a the handle to rotate it it is both affected by the position and the rotation here's a rotation I can rotate it uh, it acts just like the spotlight but softer uh, the size is the size of the um, the actual box see if I can rotate it to, so that I can straighten up and back and so this is portrayed as a box uh, and, and I guess you could do also a, um, a sphere a disc uh, a rectangle and a disc what else oh an ellipse and a square because all of those all of those shapes are actually used in photography uh, let me see if i can find um a, rend, a round one and they also have long skinny ones here's a here's the the two round ones and the two square ones here's the long skinny one uh, and so this is the rectangle uh the box and the round or the disc and so hey guys um i use the 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 area light is one of my favorite ones because again of the soft shadows that it cast and so those are all the um, lights guys the um, blender has four types of lights again the point light the point light emits light 360 degrees and it's used for fires, a candlelight, a light bulb. Um, the sunlight emits from one direction. Remember, the sun is way out there, and it's going to emit in one direction, unaffected by the location, only affected by the rotation. And then the spotlight is just like what it says. It's a spotlight. Uh, you can use this as a flashlight, headlights on a car um, a lamp and then the area light the area light lights um, acts like a softbox photography and that's one of my favorite lights to light the scene in 3d 
Hey guys, so um, I hope that this was helpful. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.